Hey, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can pass multiple parameters as your command parameter in .NET MAUI and XAML. Let's get straight into the video. This is the code snippet we are looking at today. Before we go into further detail, I want to give some background. I'm currently porting my old Xamarin Forms mobile app over to .NET MAUI. If you want to see my experience doing that, please let me know down in the comments. Let's get started analyzing this code now. As you can see, I'm in a collection view actually and have some, some data displayed in, in Xamarin Forms, I previously handled this a bit di different and didn't do it like uh, that in a collection view. Rather, I would hard code these borders, uh, each one, and give every, every single border a, a different command. I thought as, as I'm uh, Rewriting some of the logic anyways, I could try something new. And actually, I discovered a quite nice way to pass multiple parameters in one single command with one command parameter as seen here. I, for example, need to pass this uh, block to subject model and an additional enum, which determines uh, which grade type the user wants to add. All you have to do for that is writing a converter, which I show you later, and pack, pack those into the multi-binding tag and bind your stuff. Now we're going to look at the converter. First of all, I imported it here, just like any other static resource. And here is the converter. It implements the iMulti value converter interface. And as you can see, you write the convert and convert back function and give these, give these parameters. And then you can determine what these parameters are. My first value is obviously this block subject model and the second value is this enum which determines as set the type of grades the user wants to add. Then I'm going to uh, return this tuple as a block subject model and this enum with the values we just got from here. And now I'm going to show you the command which I created. Um, it's quite simple. Uh, as a parameter, it, it takes this tuple and then it does something with it. I'm going to show you that in a second. Here you can see the right page and uh, now if I click on this border that we that we just seen in the XAML code, I invoke the command and as we can see I get this plug to subject model which I wanted and additionally that enum inside of the tuple just like we wanted. And if I execute. Then you can see what it actually does. Uh, there is a bottom sheet coming up and here is the type that we determined by this enum and here you can see the subject name. In this case it's mathematics. Now that's all for the video. I hope it was uh, useful to some of you. 
I didn't previously know a good way to do this, so I thought I could share it and maybe help some of you guys. Thank you for watching and have a great day.